This is aqua. So many of you will be familiar with Tropical Marine Centre or TMC and they've got one of the biggest, most impressive stands here at Aqua. It's Sunday, everyone's very excited for day two and I'm here with Colette who is one of those people. She is giving the room a beam of energy as she always does. So <laughs> oh, tell us what's you. been popular, what you've loved about Aqua and maybe are there some products that people might be interested and want to know about? Yeah, absolutely. So we've got quite a a huge range of all of our products on the stand today. We tried to fit absolutely everything onto this one stand. Of um, and the main thing that we've been focusing on at the moment is our newest Aqua Ray. Um, so that's above most of our tanks that we've got. Right. On the and stand you've got a lot today. of tanks on display on the stand. We've got loads yeah, of which tanks is good to on see. display, which is great. Because um, a lot of people won't have necessarily seen them in the shops if you've not got the room to show. Of course. Um, so it's good to see them and with the brand new lighting right, on. Right, right. Should we go and see them? Rays. Yeah, let's, let's go walk around. around. Yeah. As you can see, beautiful scapes as well, so people can work out exactly what's going to look best once they've got it in their home, hopefully. Yeah, we're showing off our centerpiece ranges inside these tanks with also our brand new Kamala sand um, as well, which is sustainably sourced, so it's great for Amazing. the hobby. So many of you might be familiar when we did our Project Reefer Aquarium, we used this centerpiece for, and now it's covered in kind of corals and it kind of looks part of the tank. It really does add a beautiful hangover, which I think comes in four pieces, something like that. Yeah. So there's none of this really having to think about puttying things together. You yeah. literally put it in the tank, escape out and of the box. And slot straight into place, so it's, it's really easy. And that's exactly how and what we wanted from this design to make it easy for the hobbyists. Amazing. So I notice there's a lot of hardware on display, which those hardware equipment geeks out there will be pleased to know. New skimmers and a new, oh, a light reactor, is this new? Yeah, so this is our brand new Reef Bio Grow um, 2.0. Um, so these are to grow your Cheeto inside with the light inside that. And then these also are quite a cool concept. So these are our Reef Bio Reacts 2.0 um, and the way that we've made them is so that they will easily fit in most some yeah, very, very small. On the reactor, so, Great. Yeah. So you can put any kind of like bio pearls in there, yeah. other kinds of media maybe if it yeah. needs to spin. Super easy also to um, stock in with just a little bit of a rubber seal at the top. And take Brilliant. Out easy enough as Brilliant. Well. Obviously, the Vecton UVs that people will be aware of. These yeah. little, if you haven't seen any of these, probably one of the smallest power heads on the market, 1000 litre per hour, tiny, you know, like tiny. just a bit bigger than a 50 <laughs> pence piece, as you can see. Um, we've got some of those in our nano tanks at, at the office, so um, if you need a small tank, that's great. So one of the brands that Tropical Marine Centre also distribute is Tropic Marin, and very pleased at the Aqua Show to have Marcus from Tropic Marin himself. Good morning, Marcus. Good morning. Nice to see you, you again. So. Obviously, some of you will be familiar with the Tropic Marin range, but they've got some new products on display. Do you want to tell us a little bit about them? Um, yes, actually, it's two new products. Great. Um, it's going to come round. Come round. The one are these uh, best elements. We call it block analysis system. Right. Yeah. Um, what is it? Generally, in ICP, everybody uses single element solutions, which are 36, 37, whatever. Um, over the last five years, we figured out that elements behave similar in groups. So there's one group of heavy metals which uh, depend on the colors of the coral. There are another group which is responsible for the skeleton of the, of the corals right. and so on. So we figured out five groups and in these groups you have several elements which behave proportional so if one element goes down, the other one goes, so, goes so down. So these elements well. have to be in tandem to be able to be yes. available to the corals, basically. Yes, exactly. Right. And um, the other point is in ICP, we know ICP very well. Right. Marin is doing ICP, I think, since 
10 years or something right. like this. But we didn't come up with, a, with our own test until we have something new. Right. Yeah? Um, so I think in each group is one element which we call the, the, the guiding elements, where you can be very sure that you measure this in ICP very good. Right, right. Know. But this is not for all elements. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's maybe 13, 15, 16 elements which are really, really good to yeah, measure. Yeah, yeah. And, and the others, depending on their, their wavelength, on their mass, um, yeah, they are so uh, similar to others, so you, you cannot measure them correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah? Maybe it's 30 So you really need to focus on the ones that you can yes. test, and if they're right, then hopefully other things are going to fall yes. into line. Yes. Right, amazing. So maybe we're a little bit better than ICP OES and MS with these groups. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, more exact, and we also have elements in which you are even not able to measure in ICP because the concentration is too low. It's too low, yeah. right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've got to trust that if you're going to use your product and get the key ones in place, then all of the others are going to be yes. where they should be, yes. hopefully. Because this, the straight thing in uh, ICP is everybody wants to have a salt which has many, many elements. Yes, yeah? yeah. And Tropic Marine is known for its salt because it has more than 60 elements. Yeah, of course, and a lot of you will be using Pro Reef. It's one of our best-selling salts. Oh, but cool. but maybe you something needs to be replenished more than others. And yeah. then you can really dig into these kind of individual yes. elements. That's it. Because the more elements you have in the salt, the worse are the, the values in ICP. So, <laughs> yeah, of course. Of so course. our salt is not the best for ICP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, but with this system, I think uh, we can go one step further in ICP and dosing elements in, in the chain. So obviously, a lot of people, one of our best selling products, i just grab it here, is <laughs> Awful Reef. We sell an awful lot of Awful Reef. There's some Alimi Fast. There's um, lots of control methods for things like cyanobacteria. I want to ask you a question. One product that you think everybody should use. Is there one that you should have in your arsenal? Is there one that you think is the, your favorite thing? You, you already have yeah. one in yeah. your hand. Yeah. This is, it. is this <laughs> based on how good it is or how many you sell, though? Uh, it is really good. It is really yeah, good. It is really good. But, yes. the, but the new one, I think, is really the phosphate. Uh, yes. Where, where people have to learn why, why dosing phosphate. Right? Yes, and that Everyone. seems crazy to some people, yeah. right? I think, yes, they understand. I mean, one in five conversations was I've got high nutrients, I've got high nitrates, I've got high phosphates. And actually, sometimes it can be the other way around. You, you, you need the phosphate, but you need it as a particulate phosphate. That's yes. the thing. Yeah, if yeah. it sticks to your ground, in, in, in the stones, wherever, you don't need it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's uh, growing bacteria, growing yeah. cyanobacteria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, if you have a look in the natural reef, the fish pee, the fish, whatever they do. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, the fish the, waste. The, the, ex, yeah, <laughs> the excrements are good for the corals. And yeah, this, yeah. Is mainly, this is mainly particular phosphate. Yes. So maybe we shouldn't have uh, named it phosphate. We, maybe it's, we should go, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's just food for the, for yes. the corals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, That's, yeah. It. That's energy for the, for the corals. Yeah, yeah. And I think in the next five years, people will understand more and more how good this product yeah, yeah. is. And, and, I, and I think what's stuff. interesting is more and more technology comes to the industry and the marketplace and people control their nutrients more. And all of a sudden you, you're in a reverse situation where, yes. do you know what? I might actually need this nutrients yeah. and maybe stripping it all out isn't the answer. Uh, and it's kind of one of those learning curves. But Tropic Marin have got both. So you've got Alimifos, you've got Phosphid, you've got Nitrobiotic. There's something, whatever problem you've got, I think Tropic Marin's probably got a product that can help you. Yes, but also maybe in some years we need only the phosphate and we, we, we could leave out the, the enemy force. <laughs> isn't, isn't that the holy grail? Yeah, with me. I appreciate it. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the Thank show. You. Thank, yes, you. Thank you. So we had a look at the TMC Eco Rock and the centerpieces, but what's really fun and really great when you get an opportunity at shows like this is you can come, you can move some baffles around, make the shape and size of your aquarium and practice your aquascape. See which grain of sand size you like, see which pieces of rock that you like the most. If you're looking for maybe more of a fish only system, you want it more sparse, a bit more swimming space, you can use some of these really nice branching type pieces or you want a wall of SPS and you want to kind of do that, you can practice with more rock structure. And again, there's not many times that you get the opportunity to do that, which is so why it's so important that shows like this really exist and you can come and really get hands on. Something that's been really popular here, and I'll be honest with you, it's the one thing that's grabbed my attention and I think that I might be 
indulging in myself is the cryozool tanks from TMC. Now, we've kind of seen them before, jellyfish tanks, they kind of come and go out of fashion. But when the tank looks this good, and moon jellyfish are gonna be available from Tropical Marine Center, also one of the UK's biggest mar uh, marine fish wholesalers. What room doesn't benefit from a Chrysler Aquarium with color changing LED, available in two sizes to fit every room, with some very cool, very interesting jellyfishing.